Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to test your doorbell voltage or doorbell transformer voltage. You may want to do this if you are replacing your doorbell with a smart doorbell or if you're having issues with your doorbell and you're trying to troubleshoot it. In order to test your doorbell voltage, you're going to need a multimeter. Now, there are a lot of options out there, and some of them can be had for as low as $15 to be able to test the voltage on your doorbell and doorbell transformer. In order to test the voltage, we need to remove these two screws, and we need to leave the power live while removing those two screws. So as you do this, it's important to make sure that you don't touch the live wires on the back of the doorbell. Now, most doorbells are low voltage from 0 to 24 volts however you still want to take precautions we're not working with electrical you don't want to touch those live wires and make sure that you're not standing in a puddle make sure you have shoes on and just try and be as safe as possible so now we're going to take these two screws out of the existing doorbell now we've got our two screws loosened up, so we're going to pull the doorbell forward and we want to be careful not to touch the back of the doorbell because that's where we've got the two terminals and two wires for our doorbell wiring. So you don't want to touch this side and you don't want to touch this side right where you have the screws or the wires because there is live electrical current running through there. Now we're ready to take our voltage reading with our multimeter. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and we're going to turn it to the voltage setting. And you can see down here, it actually says AC current. So this will measure either AC or DC current. You want to make sure that you have it on AC current because typically doorbells will run on an AC current transformer that is anywhere from 0 to 24 volts. Now that we have our multimeter set up, we're ready to take a reading of the doorbell voltage. So in order to do this, we're going to take the probes and put them on the terminals. So I'm going to go ahead and put one probe on the terminal over there, and I'm going to put the other probe on the other terminal there. And you can see we're getting a reading of 11.5, approximately, or 11.48 volts, which means that this is compatible with some types of smart doorbells. The Ring Doorbell 3 and the new Ring Wired Doorbell are going to be compatible with 10 volts or more. So anywhere from 10 to 24 volts, you're going to be able to use one of those Ring doorbells. Now, some of the other smart doorbells like the Ring Pro may have a little bit of an issue with that low of a doorbell transformer voltage. And the Nest Hello also needs more voltage. Typically, the Ring Pro and Nest Hello need anywhere from 14 to 16 volts and above. So it might be a little bit low for that. Now, if you have low transformer voltage and you want a higher voltage at your doorbell, what you can do is go ahead and upgrade that doorbell transformer to 16 volts or 24 volts if you're putting something else on there that requires more voltage. Now, what this also tells us when we have voltage to the doorbell and we are getting a reading is that the transformer is currently working and that we have a continuous circuit between our doorbell and transformer and the power supply. Now, if you get a reading of zero volts on your existing doorbell, it means most likely that your transformer has burned out, that your doorbell chime has burned out, or somewhere there is an interruption in this circuit where a wire may be frayed or cut due to remodeling. So thank you for watching this video on how to test your doorbell voltage or how to test your doorbell transformer voltage please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. We're going to have a link to doorbells that would work with this voltage, so 12 volts, down below. So if you're interested in a smart doorbell that will work with lower voltage, go ahead and look at the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.